Hello everybody, this PowerPoint is on set builder notation. We're going to review some number systems and inequalities and intervals, and then I'm going to introduce you to set builder. And finally, we're going to put everything together. Let's review some number systems. Before we continue, you must remember the types of number systems you were taught at the start of the year. N is a set of natural numbers, I or Z denotes the integers, Q denotes a set of rational numbers or fractions, and Q prime denotes the set of rational numbers. And finally, R is a set of all numbers that are not complex or imaginary. Also for inequalities, reminder, we have looked at inequalities and you should now know uh, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. You should know what it looks like. For example, x is greater than four means x is any number greater than four all the way to infinity, including decimal numbers. Uh, an inequality that bounds x, for example, like 7 less than x less than 10, means x is any number between 7 and 10, and in this case, not including 7 or 10, because it's just less than. This can also include decimals. And you also know how to rewrite an inequality as an interval. So you know intervals use square brackets. Depending on the inequality, you will have different kinds of square brackets. For example, x is greater than or equal to 9. Square bracket hugs a 9 and hugs away from the infinity. Uh, and in this case, this is x is in between 80 and 100, or x is less than or equal to uh, 80 is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to, less than to 100. Uh, bracket hugs the 80 because it's included, hugs away from the 100 because it's not included. So these are things that you've seen before. Now let's talk about set builder. It's the last way to represent an inequality or a set of number. Set builder notation uses curly brackets and some symbols that you have already seen before dealing with number systems. Um, for example, here's the inequality x is greater than or equal to 16. This is an inequality that means x is all the real numbers greater than or equal to 16, which includes decimals. So when we write this in set builder, we'll say x, we'll say x is in the set of real numbers such that x is greater than or equal to 16. So I have it in the quotes, x is in the set of real numbers such that x is greater than or equal to 16. Uh, this little uh, backwards e here means uh, is in or included in, and the bar means such that. It's just mathematical symbols. So here are some examples. I have 15 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 30. And in an interval notation, it would be 15, 30, with both hugging square brackets between them. To write this in a set builder, I would say x is in uh, the real numbers or is in the set of real numbers such that, see such that, 15 is less than or equal to x which is less than or equal to 30. What if I gave you the set builder and I told you that x is in the set of integers such that x is in between negative 3 and 5. You guess what numbers this would include? What does this set builder mean? If my x has to be an integer, I can't use decimals. But I know that it has to be numbers between negative 3 and 5, including 5. So in curly brackets, my numbers between negative 3 and 5 that are only integers, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Here are some more examples. What numbers would be included in this set builder notation? x is in the natural numbers such that x is in between negative 3 and 5. So natural numbers. Uh, if you remember correctly, natural numbers do not include negatives. So in this case, it would only be numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 that make the set builder notation true. Try it yourself. Here are some inequalities, some intervals, and some set builder. Take a second and try to fill in these blanks. For the first one, you know that it's going to have to be hugging 30.5 going all the way to infinity. And in this case, it's all real numbers. So x is in real numbers such that x is greater than or equal to 30.5. The second one, I gave you the interval. This interval is actually between 9 and 18. Notice that it's hugging the 18 but not the 9. So I have a less than and a less than or equal to symbol. Now let's talk about set builder, such that 9 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 18. And then finally, I have x is in n, 
so natural numbers, such that 6 is less than x less than or equal to 18. In this case, there's no inequality um, because technically it's just the natural numbers between 6 and 18, so I can't really have an inequality for this because I'm restricting it to the natural numbers. And these are the numbers that are natural between 6 and 18, including 18. And now you will be doing some worksheets on all interval, set builder, and number lines with inequalities.